Hi everyone, it's Montana Rock Mom. Welcome to the channel and today I'm going to do something a little bit different than rock hunting or uh, cutting. Well, it's going to include some cutting, but I'm going to take one of my finds and we're going to cut it and polish it. So from start to finish. <laughs> so the only thing we won't see today is me actually collecting it. <laughs> So I'm in my rock shop and as you can see behind me, hold on a sec, I've got a lot of my rocks here that I like to display in the shop. I'll do a video of that one day. Right, so this is a three and a half pound piece of agatized maybe wood I'm not sure see if I can get a little bit closer up okay this could be wood it could just be I don't know blah inside we're not sure but I'm, the reason I'm picking it is it's very agate-y and Montana's agate is extremely hard to polish and cut. It's just a very hard rock. Uh, lots of scratches will show if it's not polished perfectly. So it seems like a good rock to use my new polisher on the true test. I want a pretty good face to polish so I'm going to cut it across. I'm going to cut it in half. We're going to be cutting along that sharpie line there so since I don't know what's in it it doesn't really matter how I cut it but I want a big big face to polish. All right, I've got it set up to get cut here in my 18 inch Covington slab saw. Thick that blade is on there. Cut this hard Montana agate or wood. Petrified, agatized, all the things. So we just close the mouth on the beast and pull the knob. Boom! And then we go do laundry. <laughs> anyway, I'm so bad at rock polishing because my patience is zero. Zero. I, I'm such a, I'd rather be out rock hounding and just go, 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 find stuff uh, than polishing and getting it perfect. It's really hard for me. Anyway, I bought this wet polisher, so I hook it up to the hose off Amazon. And if you like it, I will put a link in the description on my video, on my YouTube video in the uh, description box of you know the exact one I'm using if you want to get yourself one but it makes the polishing go a lot faster so I'm much more happy to do it so come along with this video and I hope everything turns out well if not I'm sure we'll learn some things along the way and maybe you will too or maybe you can give me some tips so thanks for watching and let's get started Okay, Drogon, the beast is complete with his meal. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Look at this first side. Oh, that's a beautiful agate. Look at those rings in there. It's like a banding. Let me put some light on here.
Okay, that's pretty. All right, let's see. Let's go look at the side we're going to polish. Okay, here is the base. You can really see those rings in there. And that white is probably likely some common opal or some chalcedony. All right, here is my wet polisher. They call it wet because it hooks up to your garden hose. Hopefully your garden hose and not your kitchen sink. That's, it would be kind of messy. Uh, the water comes out of that hole. See? Easy. Everything comes set up so you don't have to um, get any kind of attachments or know basically anything more about what you're doing besides turning it on and off and hooking it up to the hose. <laughs> so it's a win for me. And it comes with the polishing pads from one, or actually from 50 to 3,000. So obviously the higher you go, uh, the higher the polish, the better the polish, the shinier the polish. Um, and the 50 is going to be for your rough rock, your sand, or getting your saw marks out, etc. Uh, getting scratches out, all that kind of stuff. And it has a variable speed so that you can adjust your settings as you're going. So let's get started. I rinsed my rock off with uh, soap and water because you want to get you want to get most of that mineral oil off if you use mineral oil in your saw or just get it nice and clean to get started. I'm going to start off with my 50. So all I do is take my polisher, stick that on there one-handed. <laughs> And turn this on and get going. You want to keep going until you don't see scratch marks anymore. See those scratch marks? No bueno. Keep going. Can still see scratches. So I'm only like two minutes in and I need to keep going. You see those scratches? This is gonna be the longest phase or the longest amount of time, the rough phase. And then it'll go much faster. But you gotta get those out. Okay, I need to get it a little bit better around the edges, but just so you know, it's opposite to what you think. When it's when you have it on a rough sanding pad, you need to put it on a faster speed, and when you're polishing at a higher grit, you need to put it on a slower speed. Okay, it's looking good. We're going on to the 100 grit diamond pad. You can see a little bit of a scratch there. So I want to get that out and some on the edges there. So I'm going to quickly get that out before going to the next grit. Okay, now we're on to 200 grit. Ok, 
Okay, so 200 grit for a minute and see some little bit of scratches. So I'm going to keep going, maybe do another minute. I'm definitely not going to do this in the winter time in Montana. This is a summer thing. Going on to the next grit, which is 400. It's a pretty insane polish for 800. Oh, stop, chopper. So, break time, and this is happening. Chopper got a sister, and this is Lola. Lola is five months old. She is such a good girl. All right, just ate dinner. Back to finishing up the polish here. Got a little bit of scratches on here. It's not perfect, but then again, I'm not a patient person. I really should spend another minute and get some scratches out. Okay, going on to Thousand Grit. It's all about finding the right amount of water, the right amount of pressure, and the right amount of speed on the polisher. So in the beginning, just might take a little bit of time to figure that out. My patience is like not super high, it's, but it's, I mean, it's not super low either but it it tests the limit because I really just want to do like two minutes and go to the next the next grit sometimes you can't do that okay this is actually 1500 grit so 1500 and then 3000 and then we're done all right 3000 grit about to happen. Okay, we are done. Take a look at that shine. What? That's crazy. Really has great 
great shine. Now, if I was gonna show this off, I would probably do a thinner slab. I would do a thinner slab and I would put like a backlight on it so you could really show off the agate. But I was really just wanting to polish the front. I really hope you can see how awesome this shine is. All right, so I am soaking wet, but I have a polished rock, so I'm gonna call that a win. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Rock on.